getting near those little. Yeah. <laughs> Halter breaky him. If he doesn't work out, uh, I'm gonna jump him. <laughs> oh. Gosh. Oh, look at Pickles. He's like, uh uh. Yeah. at you you want him to look at that there oh good there you see the difference good job you try it one more time that was really good oh good 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 oh I would have rewarded that you were just a little bit late do you see that right there there you go good job There you go. Push, so remember I showed you with your hand? Push his head over with your hand. Put it up to his neck, to his cheek. There you go. Perfect. You see how you have a little more control that way? Controlling his head. Remember, hold on to him. He's gonna wanna run out of there. There you go, perfect. Good job. He's leading pretty good now. Yeah, it's kind of scary. There's a lot of scary stuff on the way there. Perfect. Good job. Do you have plenty of treats? All right. So go ahead and open that door up. Good job. Good job. Remember when he comes forward, you got to give him a release, okay? So go ahead and click there, release. Perfect. Then do it again. release.
good. And then come again. No, no, keep pulling. Keep pulling till he comes forward. That halter is a little too loose. You see that? Keep pulling. There, when he comes forward, release, release. Good. And then when he, once you get him in there, you're going to need to tighten that halter up. Do you see how loose it is? And it kind of is a problem now. So go ahead and um, ask him to stop and go ahead and um, put that halter up a little bit tighter. Yeah, you can put it up a little bit more behind his ears and then make it tighter. There you go. There you go. Perfect. And then just tuck it. Perfect. All right, so just practice leading, and then um, you can work on your backing, and then I'm going to show you how to teach him to side pass, okay? The leading is getting pretty good. And I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do. So what we're, what we're going to do is um, the cue is, look at me, the cue is hand forward and up, and then two clicks, or you could just, I mean, you can keep clicking because he's a burrow. Click, keep, start clicking, and then you're going to kind of jog in place. And then I'm going to go behind him after you start doing that and have him go forward. As soon as he trots, mm -hmm. you're going to do your um, noise and give him a treat. Okay. You got it? So tell me what you're going to do. Okay. Remember, put your hand up and forward. Okay. Forward, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, and start... Perfect. And then um, I'm going to tell him to go forward. As soon as he starts trotting forward, we'll, well, then we'll stop. We'll, as soon as he starts trotting forward, I want you to make your noise, and then we'll stop and give him a treat, okay? okay. You ready to try? Um, not right now. Yes, we're going to try. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be getting my little grip here. I'm gonna be scared. Don't be scared. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to ask him. So go ahead. Do that. There you go. Keep, well, go forward like you're going to run. And you want him to follow you. There you, there we go. Good. Now you got to make the noise. You give him a treat. Good. That was really good. So I want you to go a little bit more forward. So you're pulling on him a little bit more to get him to go, and as soon as he starts trotting, you gotta release, okay? And give him the clucking noise. You ready? Okay, stop. Good boy. Good boy. You can do it that way if you want. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. He was scared of that. So let's try it again. Go forward. Start running, Kira. Start going in front of him. Okay, okay, give him a treat. Good boy. Don't cry. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and you just walk for a little bit. And then we'll do it again. Good.
finally made it to the competition. We were able to give him a bath, which he did not like very much. Uh, he stayed pretty clean. Uh, it was kind of cold where we were, you know, where we live. Warmer down here where the competition was, about four hours away in uh, more southern Arizona. And you can see here, she's, I mean, still, he's even got his foot cocked. She's still real wary of him. He hadn't tried to kick her um, for quite a while, but, he, I mean, he tried to kick me every day, but, um, and so but she was still kind of wary and a little nervous of him uh, with his back legs. And this is the first class, Handling and Conditioning. And the idea of this cast is just to kind of look at the conditioning of the animal, make sure they're healthy, um, and then a basic, you know, handling that you can catch them, you can pick up their feet, um, they lead, uh, they should be able to back up and side pass and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so here she did her catching part, um, and it's just kind of like a little bit of a horsemanship pattern. And uh, this was so awesome. You could see she had been practicing her trot off, and um, this was awesome for a burrow to trot off like that. I was so proud of her. Uh, they did so well in this class. Um, this is what ended up really, really um, helping them in the end. Uh, they struggled in the, in the next two classes. They struggled a little in trail. And then their freestyle that they had practiced so hard on, um, they had some trouble. Um, but because they had scored so high in this class, I think he was the only burrow that would back up. Um, they had a back of figure eight, which is just crazy to me. Um, and so, and she, she did it. He was the only burrow that would back up, the only burrow that trotted really in hand, um, the only burrow that knew how to side pass. Um, so working on all those things and teaching him all that um, is what, what won her this competition. So um, she learned so much with this little guy and we are just so proud of her. She worked so hard on this burrow, but it's those difficult ones that really, really kind of develop um, and you know help you improve. So that was awesome, back that figure eight. This is a pretty tough pattern for, um, for a burrow, especially youth burrow. Um, and so he, she got him side pass, she had to side pass both ways, um, and he did pretty good. He does much better this Beautiful. way, Woo! which was awesome. And then I think this one, they had to do a turn on the forehand, so move the hind end. Um, and that was awesome. Move the hind end over and try and keep the forehand still. Not too bad for a burrow. We hadn't really practiced that. She literally just taught him to do that right before she went into this class, so it was not too bad. And then um, a turn on the hind end. And so same thing, we hadn't really practiced that, but she had she pretty much developed a lot of body control with this little guy with all the other work that she had done and so that that was really good especially for i mean burrows are not the easiest things to show and this little trot off was awesome had a trot um next to that scary little thing there and then they had to tie them up and i'm not really sure what she's doing here because she knows how to tie so uh, obviously something we need to review she just wrapped this around a bunch of times and um this part I'm so proud of her is that she decided to go for it. She's pretty competitive, and this is the first time that she had ever picked up his back legs by herself. And I like her positioning. She was being really careful. And then I'm mortified that she did that. Oh my God, I'm so mortified. I'm like, what are you doing? You don't ever do that. Oh my gosh, so we had to talk about that after the class. Um, but she picked up all four feet, she did great, and she scored so high in that class, and that's what really, really helped her win this competition. Uh, here we are, she was, uh, we're getting her ready. She was um, gonna be dressed up as a Viking. Um, her theme was how to train your dragon, because um, her burrow was so hard. And so she's a Viking, and I, I looked up on Pinterest and found all these ideas on makeup and how to do the hair, and that's what I had come up with. And then we had this little dragon outfit for him. And of course he's got some glitter on because he needs glitter. Uh, and then this is um, Annie McDermott that puts on this tip challenge, always does these fun games. And I'm so happy that Jesse kind of partnered with Kira and they got to do some of these fun games. 
um, which, you know, it's just, it just kind of makes the whole show more relaxed and really enjoyable. And Kira had fun. They didn't do very well, but Kira had fun. <laughs> burrows weren't exactly cooperative. All those horses look amazing, and the burrows look amazing. People did a really good job. This is so funny. Look, the burrows like, what are we doing? No, burrows don't really move. She's like, come on, let's go, let's go. She's not the best partner. Burrows aren't the best partner, for sure. Not for anything speed-wise, speed event-wise. Too funny. Uh, this was a trail class. They, it was a really, really spooky, scary trail class. And so they got to do it twice. So I got just part of this first run and like he, she couldn't even get him to go over there. So they just went around. Um, it was, it was scary, but it was kind of fun that, and this was around Halloween time. So this show was in October. And you see, she she did really really well. Um, but this show was in October, so it was all like Halloween themed. So here is where they really struggled. This is her freestyle, and they've done so well at home. You saw that she had that run through at home, and she I mean she just gets frustrated here. She was nervous, and this is the first show she'd ever been nervous. She gets frustrated here, and he just kind of starts to shut down. So he's been through that you know, little thing a million times, that cowboy curtain, and then she's trotting him here, and she's right here, she gets really frustrated, and so what do burrows do? They just shut down, right? They just completely stop functioning. And so um, she ended up getting him to go over this eventually. Um, so you can see her getting upset. So this was a really good um, learning experience for her to calm down, you know, get herself together, she was able to, she lost her burrow, ran off, and, and um, one of the helpers uh, caught the, her burrow and had her take some deep breaths, and then she just calmed down, and the burrow calmed down, and they finished and did brilliant. You could see he sat. He did everything else he was supposed to do. Um, so a huge learning experience for her, but because they did so well in that first class, their points were so high, um, they ended up winning. So um, super exciting. And so she decided that she wanted to go ahead and show her burrow in the open show, which was right after the tip challenge finished. Um, she was against all adults, and uh, he did really, really well. Um, I thought he would have been so tired at this point, but he actually um, did really well with her. And she, I think she wasn't as, because she'd done so well in the tip challenge, she wasn't as nervous and stressed, and she was so much more relaxed. And this is a sensitive burrow, and so however she's feeling, he's going to, you know, um, really kind of reflect that. And so you could see the burrow's more relaxed here, she's more relaxed here. They actually really had fun doing the show. So it's a great learning experience for her to have to learn how to deal with nerves and not that, let that affect, you know, your animal, which is really hard to do. And to not be so stressed out, like just to kind of have fun. Um, and, and because if you get frustrated, especially on a sensitive animal, um, they're just going to shut down or they're going to like freak out or whatever. So, um, great learning experience. I was so happy she listened to me and she listened to the advice of the other people that were there. Um, and, and she used it and that was great. He'd never been on one of those bridges before. I was so impressed with that. Um, and he just trusted her and did it. So she had really a lot of fun. I think she ended up getting third a lot, and there's like six people in these classes, and they were all adults, all experienced burrows, so super proud of her.
same thing in the same